Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we are asking the trillion dollar question, can Broadcom reach a trillion dollar market cap by the year 2030? Let's talk about it. Can Broadcom reach a trillion dollar market capitalization? Here's what I know. Progress is inevitable. Investors should aim to benefit from it. Let me talk let me, let me explain what I'm talking about. 1996, ExxonMobil becomes the first company to reach a $100 billion market cap. By the end of the 20th century, 19 companies had market caps over $100 billion. Progress is inevitable. Microsoft was leading the pack uh, at the end of the 20th century with a market cap of $604 billion. The first trillion dollar company appeared on the scene in 2019. Today, there are six companies with a trillion dollar market cap and more, like Broadcom, are expected. Let's look at Broadcom, look at that path to the trillion dollar market cap. When is it gonna happen? Broadcom currently has a market cap around $730 billion. So it needs that modest push to reach that trillion dollar mark. Here's the projections, guys. Here's what we think. 40%, if they experience 40% annual growth, then they could reach a trillion dollars in just one year. (laughs) That's insane, guys. 40% growth, they're there this time next year. 15% growth, more reasonable. That's the S&P 500's average right now. That could get Broadcom to a $1.1 trillion mark by August 2027. Okay, so 15%, that is just if it if it can match the S&P 500. If it doesn't match it, 11% would get uh, Broadcom to 100 trillion by, in four years. 8% would get them there by 2029. 6%, if they can just grow 6%, they can be there by summer 2030. So what are the growth drivers, guys? What is gonna get Broadcom to that trillion dollar mark? There's two things, guys, two things. Number one, connected devices. Connected devices. Broadcom is a leading supplier of chips for connected devices, which are increasingly ubiquitous. Number two, AI expansion. Broadcom is working on AI chip designs with companies like OpenAI, ByteDance. AI chips might have lower profit margins but they offer substantial revenue potential. There are some risks, there are some valuation concerns. Let's talk about valuation first. Broadcom stock is trading at multi-year highs in price to free cash flow, price to sales, price to earnings ratios, all of them multi-year highs. Stock might right now be priced to perfection, which is risking a price drop if the company stumbles. And then there's the market risk. Value-seeking investors might find Broadcom a little bit too expensive for their taste. Stock is better suited for growth-oriented investors that are willing to accept higher risk. And all of that on top of, we have a lot of economic and market uncertainty right now. The global economy AI market developments. All of this could delay Broadcom's path to the trillion dollar mark. So there's no way for sure that we can know exactly when Broadcom is going to hit that trillion dollar mark. Despite potential setbacks though, guys, I think Broadcom is expected to reach a trillion dollars by 2030. I think it's going to happen. That's my guess, guys. That, that's my call, I'm, I'm, I'm saying it right now. Broadcom, trillion dollars, 2030, probably be way past the trillion dollars, will probably destroy the trillion dollar mark. So anyway, Broadcom's journey to a trillion dollar mark, realize this guys, it's gonna be volatile. Investing's not a straight line. We're not just gonna see it, you know. It, it, Broadcom could drop way below where it's at right now. It's gonna be a volatile journey. But if you're willing to take the risks, then you'll see the rewards. Investors should uh, should assess their risk tolerance. They, you know, consider purchasing some Broadcom shares. Prepare though for potential market fluctuations on the path 
to substantial growth. Now, guys, I got to say this. I'm not personally invested in Broadcom. I just haven't, you know, bit the bullet and taken the leap. I, I'm not there yet. All right. Every single week, though, I am investing in a company. I'm putting my money in the market and I make a video specifically about the stocks that I'm buying. So if you're not a subscriber, guys, hit that subscribe button. Hit that subscribe button. Join the community. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video, if you want more videos like this, and leave a comment down below. What is your guess? When do you think Broadcom will hit a trillion dollars? Or do you think this is the peak? Do you think Broadcom's going down from here? I don't think that's happening. If you do, leave a comment. Tell us why, guys. We want to know what you think and, and give us your feedback. Anyway, guys, y'all have an awesome rest of your day, and I'll see you again tomorrow with another video. Take it easy and peace.